Hello everyone, my name is Alina Tetereva and I am a PhD student at the University of Otago, New Zealand. Let me introduce my research on the topic Integrating Task-Based Functional MRI Across Tasks, Markedly Boost Prediction and Reliability of Brain Cognition Relationship. One of the core aims of human neuroscience is to reveal brain biomarkers of cognition. Many researchers tried to predict intelligence based on MRI and fMRI. However, most of them relied on a single modality and were mostly keen on structural and resting state, especially resting state functional connectivity. This modality gives quite low predictions. Despite this fact, there are still really few papers using task by fMRI for machine learning. Possibly this is because of Elliot paper, where task fMRI has shown poor test retest reliability. However, there are a lot of discussions around this topic. We decided to use one of the suggestions and build a model using stacking approach and include tasks there. We used a human connectome project dataset in our research. It provides a lot of modalities. We decided to, to choose few structural modalities, such as cortical sickness, cortical area, subcortical volume, and total brain volume. An fMRI modality, like rest and state functional connectivity, here we live only around 3,000 pairs out of almost 70,000. So there are only pairs which correlates with the cognitive score at p-value level less than 0 0.01. And of course, we include all seven tasks using their main GLM contrasts. We got 12 modality in total and organized them into three sets for stacking. Here are all modality, which includes everything. Non-task, it includes all structural and resting state. And of course, tasks that includes only seven tasks. Because the human connectome project contains a lot of twins and siblings, we used eight-fold cross-validation scheme to reduce family influence. Within each fold, we isolated around 50 families or 100 subjects. They didn't participate in the model building and were used as a test set. The families didn't overlap across folds. Then, the training set was split into train layer 1 and train layer 2 with 60 to 40% ratio. Then, within each fold, we used train layer 1 for learning and tuning single modality models. At the next stage, a new data fits into these tuned models, and their predicted values were used as a new predictors for building stack model. And at the last stage, we tested everything. As previously was mentioned, we run three stack models based on different combination of modalities. And here you can see their prediction performance. All modality stack model is the best one in predictions. And the second best is the task-based model. However, you can see that these two are quite close in predictions, but all modality stack model is significantly better. And you can see how far behind is the non-task model. Here at this slide, you can see the performance indexes of all models and stacked and single modality. And again, all modality and task stack models shows the best performances. But the third place and the best among single modality models is the working memory task. If compared the best single modality model, like a working memory, and the best stack model, which is all modality stack model, we can see that stacking gives us the big boost in prediction power. The non-task non stack model places even lower than working memory and language task, which shows that exactly task and task-based stack model is better for cognition prediction. At this slide, you can see feature importance within each stack model. It shows which modality contributes more into the model. The leading tasks are working memory, language, and relational. Among non-task, a resting state is the best. Additionally, we have calculated each parcel feature magnitude based on coefficients from task stack model and parcel feature importances from each single modality task model. The most contributing here are the parcels from front operator network. Here is a test retest reliability plot. The most reliable, of course, the structural modalities. They are highly reliable, but poor in prediction. However, then you can see task and all modality stack models, which shows excellent intra-class correlation level. That means our stacking approach can boost task reliability too. And conclusions. In our work, we have shown that model based on stacking combination of structural resting state and task fMRI gave us the best prediction performance. Stack model was primarily driven by many fMRI tasks, like working memory, language, and relational. 
All modality and task modality stack models provided excellent test-to-test -test reliability. Fitchy impotences indicated the crucial role of front operator regions across different fMRI tasks in predicting general cognitive abilities. Thank you for your attention.